Now, speaking of Miguel Cabrera and the Detroit Tigers, obviously this is the final season for Miggy, but when he leaves, there is, you can see the foundation of, of maybe something special yeah. building in Detroit. And they got some young sluggers, including Kerry Carpenter. Yeah, he's interesting. This is a classic Eric Nays researcher to the stars says, hey, you might want to lock in on this guy. Really? We had A.J. Hinch on a uh, couple of Doesn't days it. ago, and he, he mentioned Kerry Carpenter. And I want to take you back. He was a 19th round pick in 2019. 19th round. Wow. So he had to grind through the minors le minor leagues. But you talk about a high-character guy. He said, I always, I always thought I was better than a 19th round pick, but yet again, I just didn't play very well in college to get there. Virginia Tech? Virginia Tech. Mm. So I want to dive in because his numbers since August have been foolish. He's got monster <laughs> pop. He's revamped his swing. There's so many different – let's get into it. There's okay. so many different hitting gurus on the Internet and on social media. But he dove in on kind of working with Aaron Judge's hitting coach, getting on his backside. So pause this real quick, kind of coiling that back hip, letting the ball travel, and you can't deny it. It's working for him. So bring up the first two boards for me back to back. Take a look at this. 2022 in the minors. Okay, there's not a lot of people hitting 313 with 30 homers in the minor Ooh. leagues. You're grinding it out. Right. All right? And then MLB career, Detroit and Philly. Here we go. 280-26. A weighted runs created plus of 137. Bring up the next board. AL slugging leaders this season, minimum 300 plate appearances. You got Shohei, obviously. Corey Seager's been awesome. Judge, Jordan, Luis Robert, Kerry Carpenter. Mm. With, the big, <laughs> with the big boys. With the big boys. And he's got big time pop. I'm going to take you through a few ABs. Two in July, one in August. He just does not discriminate. Let's get into it. These are big time pitchers. 3-2 to Luis Castillo. Fouls it back, and he's battling right here. I want to show you this. Louie makes a pitch right there, mm. 95. Now, if he can get back up there, he tries to and execute it. I think Kerry gets punched out. Change up away. Change up middle of the plate, and I mean, it's quick. Big time power. Staying back on a heater and reacting to a change up. How about George Kirby? Backdoor slider. Pause. Kids at home, you get to the big leagues, guy throws a backdoor slider off the plate, usually about 70% of the time he's throwing it again. That's right. All right? He wants Good back ball. in the zone and get a feel for it again. So 1-0 slider. He's on it. He's on that pitch right there. Oh. oh. What? I mean, 95 top of the zone after two heaters, uh, after two sliders right there? Show me Chris Sale. Heater in, didn't move. Spit tape, didn't move. Slider that he's all over. So there's really Chris Sale. This should present the problem. Mm. Nope. One one back leg in him. So I have to give this guy massive run. Okay, pause this. Bring up the August OPS leaders board. I mean Mookie, Julio, Bryce Harper. What? Kerry Carpenter. And Marcelo Zuna has been on fire. So what makes a great hitter, right? Light tower power. Let's get back into it. The ability to hit to all fields. Occasional button. He's got the whole skit working. He, he can work headband? the ball. He has a headband working, yeah, okay. Robert. <laughs> he can work the ball the other way. That ball's leaving. No. Run that back. Wow. You talk about power. That's a two-seamer down in his own 96 at T-Mobile. Those are the kind of home runs that make a pitcher want to quit. Yeah, where I mean, are you going? I, I don't mind you getting a base hit, but he not bridge. And he always struggled run it. He always struggled against non-fastballs. That seems to not be a problem anymore since August. Getting A-Bs nightly, hitting in the middle of the order for Detroit with the Torkelsons and the Riley Greens of the world. A.J. Hinch is on to something right here. So pause this. Bring up his slug versus non-fastballs. Highest slug versus non-fastballs this month. Marcelo Zuna, Kerry Carpenter. How about DJ Stewart for the Mets? <laughs> yeah. 
All right, I want to dive into the try screen because guys have to do something a little bit different, right? I want you to focus on, before we get into this, I want you to focus on talking about getting into your back hip like Aaron Judge talks about, that coiling, using this as a kickstand, letting the ball travel, and then creating kind of a, a quick bat, the ability. You see him pretty stagnant, pretty 50-50 right here. Just presenting himself very normal, very trophy like the guy on the trophy. Yeah. Then he proceeds to, you're seeing it. It's almost like this, this present of, I'm gonna get into my backside yes. a little bit more and let the ball travel and hit absolute I mean, bomb. He, he's sitting on that back hip, but closes that right hip. Exactly. My God, get back on that. Run that back. We talked about Bobby Witt all the way. All the way, Bobby Witt said it right there. Bobby Witt, right before he goes, goes, er, just that little set, kind of get you back, keep you back. Let the ball travel. He's got pop to all fields, run this. Can't be easy to just keep that balance, though, on that back leg, right? Always say you want to use your front leg as a kickstand. Yeah. When you start getting out here, and this is the, yeah. the poster child for doing it right. <laughs> before and after picture. And there's always the argument, right? You wouldn't teach this to a lot of people because he's six foot seven and generates so much power that he doesn't have to have a lot of moving parts going forward. But Kerry Carpenter's not six foot seven, and it's working for him. So he bet on himself, 19th round pick out of Virginia Tech, who said he didn't deserve to get drafted higher, but he knew there was more in the tank. Revamped his swing, was willing to take a chance. Can't deny the production. And, and you showed him going yard on a sinker, change up down, fastball up, yep. breaking ball. All of it. Pretty special. special. Yeah, special. Miguel Cabrera, a hitter of a generation, is watching Green and Torkelson yeah. and Terry Carpenter, sort of the next. Parker Meadows, what a right. name. Parker Meadows. Another Georgia boy. Austin yeah, Meadows' uh, brother. Yeah, a AJ mentioned last week that uh, he likes what they have and the potential of those young injured yeah. starters that uh, are working their way back. So, future looks bright. Robert, I just like that there's different ways to do it, right? right? There's not one way to teach how to hit. You look at Justin Turner, although a lot of guys are setting that back hip, he's trying to catch everything out front. Yeah. Here's a man that wants to let everything get deep. Different strokes. Who would you follow now? Like, if oh you were looking God, at a stroke. Oh, my God, I wanted to be Chipper Jones I, and Mikey Young. That's why I went to a toe tap. I never loaded. So that was my big thing. I was, I, I would be all over these internet things yeah. because I was stagnant, boom, here, and I was dead on anything in. Once I went to Texas and started loading up on my backside, I was like, okay. Difference, mate. We can change the score now. <laughs> Nice. I wanted yeah. to be I wanted to be Pete Rose in that little in that crouch. <laughs> I couldn't do it, so I ended up growing my hair like him, like a <laughs> you know, with the a bowl cut. Still looking good. Still looking good. <laughs>